everyone and welcome to Auto Rush back again. I hope you guys are doing well. So guys, today I have with me this car which is the Toyota Urban Cruiser. In this video, I am going to show you guys the exterior interior features space. By the end of the video, I'll also tell you guys how is it to drive. So let's quickly start the video. Before starting the video, if you are looking out to buy a new car, bike or a used vehicle, you can surely contact us. You can DM us your contact number, your location and your requirements and we'll surely try to get the best deal for you. Now you can enjoy this video. Let's quickly start without wasting any more time. off with the walk around let's quickly start off with the front profile of the car so right in the center you have the toyota logo you have this black grill and there is also some amount of chrome used up front now talking about the front profile toyota has tried to redesign the bumper in order to make it look much like a mini fortuner right here you also do get this cladding up front and the skid plate moving on to the headlamps of the car now here you have dual projector led headlamp setup this is the DRL of the car which again turns up into an indicator by the way and this is basically your fog lamp which is again an LED you again have this uh, chrome surround uh, on the fog lamp so this is how the front profile of the Toyota Urban Cruiser actually looks like moving on to the side profile of the car so here as you can see it becomes very difficult to tell whether if it is the Maudi Suzuki Vitara Brezza or the Toyota Urban Cruiser because both the cars look exactly the same now on the roof as well as on the mirror you basically have this gloss black treatment and on the roof you also do get uh, the roof rails on the ORVM you also have this uh, turn indicator the wheel arches look quite nice on the side you have this cladding now on the door handles you actually have this request button so you don't really have to remove the key out of your pocket by the way this is the key of the car you have button for your lock as well as for your unlock you can basically just press this button and the doors will lock and the mirrors also fold like this press it again and the car unlocks so this is how the side profile of the Toyota Urban Cruiser looks like moving on to the rear profile of the car so here as you can see you obviously have your high mounted stop lamp you have rear wiper washer and defogger Toyota logo Urban Cruiser badge right here and you obviously have your reverse parking sensors and this is basically your reverse parking camera in order to open the boot let me unlock the car first so unlocking the car and here you basically have a button you press this button and the boot unlocks this is the 328 liters of boot space which you have in the toyota urban cruiser the seats which you get right here are 60 40 split so you can basically increase the luggage carrying capacity as well here you have some space to keep your stuff there is a hook provided right here again here you have some space to keep stuff and this is basically a light provided right here for illumination this is the 12 volt charging point right here below this you obviously have your spare wheel now the tire size is same 21560R16 but this is not an alloy wheel this is basically a steel rim which you have right here then this is the toolkit which you have this is the emergency triangle right here and this is the amount of space which you have in the boot of the Toyota Urban Cruiser as well as the Maudi Suzuki Vitara Brezza now let me close the boot for you guys so there it goes and this is how the rear profile of the Toyota Urban Cruiser actually looks like. Let me show you guys the tail lights. So these, this is the LED tail lights which you have. These are the LED tail lights which you have right here. Now, guys, let me quickly show you guys the tire profile, and then we'll move inside the car, and I'll show you guys uh, the what all features do you have. So 215. 60R16 this is the tire profile which you have 16 inch alloy wheels the design of the alloy wheels has also remained the same compared to the Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brezza so guys this was a quick walk around now let's quickly move inside the car and let me quickly show you guys what all features do you get in the Toyota Urban Cruiser so guys right now I'm inside the car and as you can see here you actually get all black interiors here you also do get the silver treatment on the dashboard the interior actually looks quite nice one more change which you might notice right here is the fact that the seats are tan or brown colored seats you get in the toyota urban cruiser meanwhile you don't really have the same in uh, the maudi suzuki vitara Brezza. now let me quickly 
turn on the car switch on the car for you guys so that i can show you guys the features which you have so here as you can see this is the seven inch touchscreen music system and it does this uh, toyota logo comes up as soon as soon as you start the car so this is how the interior of the toyota urban cruiser looks like starting off from the steering wheel right here you obviously because this is the top end premium manual model so you basically have this uh, leather wrapped steering wheel which actually feels quite nice to hold here you have a few buttons you can increase and decrease the volume you can change the radio channels you can also change the uh, music tracks from here this is for your mute this is for your mode here again you have this uh, chrome uh, treatment on the steering wheel which again adds a premium appeal here you have a few buttons to accept and reject the call you have a button for your voice command talking about the instrument cluster you obviously have analog speedometer and tachometer right here there is an mid in the center head position now here you have a button you actually have to press this one and here as you can see it will show uh, range as well as your odometer reading uh, instantaneous fuel efficiency average fuel consumption so these are the basic things which the instrument cluster shows you here again you have a button so you can press this and it will show you trip a and trip b here you have a few buttons for your cruise control by the way i have made a separate video on how you can actually use a cruise control in a car so you can basically check out that video by clicking on the link somewhere over here here you have a few buttons you can actually uh, retract your mirrors you can actually fold the mirrors press this button and your mirrors will fold automatically and as you can see this is how it is done here you have your headlight leveler this is basically to adjust your mirrors here you have a water bottle holder here as you can see you can easily accommodate a one liter bottle right here these are your power window switches this is to lock your power window this is to lock and unlock the car now talking about the music system this is the seven inch touchscreen music system which you have in the toyota urban cruiser the sound quality is really very good the touch response is also very good i am not playing an audio right here because of the copyright issues but let me quickly show you guys the touch response here as you can see the touch response is actually quite nice right here so it, here it will show you display date time vehicle alerts so these are the alerts which uh, the car will show you and obviously it gets android auto apple car play as well this is your button for your hazard lamp and here you obviously have your uh, automatic climate control ac here you have a 12 volt charging point usb as well as aux connectivity there is some space to keep your wallet five speed gearbox i'll talk about the gearbox as soon as i start driving the car here you have two cup holders and here you obviously have your armrest as well below here you have some space to keep stuff now here you have two glove boxes so here as you can see this is the amount of space which you have here and here you can basically keep your documents and stuff here as you can see this is basically your sun visor with a vanity mirror and this is basically your automatic irvm which you have here you also do get a sun glass holder there are two lights provided right here you can turn on the lights as well and here you don't really have a vanity mirror you have this toll receipt holder so this is much about the interior of the car guys i think i have covered most of the things now let me adjust the seat as per my driving position my comfortable driving position and i'll show you guys uh, the amount of space which you have in the second row so let me quickly unlock the car let's quickly move in the second row so guys here as you can see now i am inside the second row of the toyota urban cruiser in terms of the legroom it is a really very good car to actually be in you can stretch your feet below the driver as well as co-driver seat here is a hook provided right here here you also do get a magazine holder in terms of knee room also it is pretty good right here and in terms of shoulder room you can easily get two adults and a kid in the middle there is a center armrest with two cup holders and the middle passenger will have to adjust a little bit because there is a hump placement right here so this is about the second row space which you have the under thigh support is decent the headroom is really very good and here you have a handle to hold on to with a hook there is a handle there as well you basically have your adjustable uh, seat belts right here and this is again a handle to hold on to with a hook in the door pads here you can easily accommodate a one liter water bottle there is a power window switch right here chrome door handles 
सो गैज आई थिंक आई हैव कवर्ड मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स अबाउट द इंटीरियर एज वेल एज द एक्सटीरियर ऑफ द कार नाउ लेट मी क्विकली शो गाइज द इंजन बे लेट मी क्विकली शो गाइज द इंजन ऑफ द कार एंड देन विल स्टार्ट ड्राइविंग द कार एंड आई टेल यू गाइज हाउ विज इट टू ड्राइव एज वेल सो लेट्स क्विकली मूव आउट साइड एंड लेट मी शो गाइज द इंजन बे ऑफ द कार let me first turn it off okay now here you have a lever by the way you also do get a dead pedal right here here you have a lever you pull this and you can actually open the hood of the car now here as you can see you basically can open it like this hood is actually heavy so that is a good thing now here as you can see this is the engine of the car this is the 1.5 liter engine which you have i'll talk about the engine in detail as soon as i start driving the car so guys this was a quick walk around from my side i hope you guys like this video now let's quickly start driving the car and let's see how it actually perform performs out on the roads let's quickly get driving i'm driving this car which is the toyota urban cruiser now i've already given you guys a detailed walk around of this car now it's time to start talking about the power and performance on offer so let's quickly start off with the engine now the toyota urban cruiser is powered by a 1462 cc four cylinder petrol engine which produces 104.72 ps of power and 138 newton meters of torque now this is the same engine which we have also seen on the maruti suzuki vitara brezza talking about the refinement from this engine the engine is extremely refined and the cabin is also a very calm place to be in the cabin is very well insulated from the outside world by the way so that is a positive thing about the engine that it, that it is extremely refined now here you have a u turn taking a u turn is no fuss at all by the way the turning radius of the car is 5.2 meters and talking about the power and performance from this engine it delivers very good amount of performance but you will have to be in the right gear now just look at this driving this car in the city is really very easy actually taking a u turn is no fuss at all it is a very easy car to actually drive so i was talking about the power and performance now this engine delivers good amount of performance but you will have to be in the right gear and you have to actually rev the engine a little bit on the higher side in order to get going so that is something which you need to know the low end is really very good which means that uh, driving in the city is no issue at all and the mid range definitely could have been better like i said it is a free revving engine it is a higher revving engine so the top end is also uh, very good so as that is about the engine now this engine comes paired to a 5 speed manual gearbox there is also an option of automatic there is a 4 speed torque converter automatic which is on offer we'll talk about that in some another video let's now focus on this particular manual so this 5 speed manual gearbox is very smooth in terms of shifts so you don't really have to put in a lot of efforts in order to change gears the clutch is also on the lighter side so that is again a positive point about the car Now guys moving on to the uh, personal my personal favorite aspect of a car is the right quality we Indians always look out for a comfortable uh, car and this is something which uh, this car is something which definitely provides you a lot of comfort the suspension is on the softer side the right quality is really very good it provides you very good amount of comfort inside the cabin or in the city as well as over bad roads so that is again a good thing about the car moving on to the handling the handling definitely could have been better it weighs up well but it does not really inspire a lot of confidence in order to uh, push it harder and faster so the handling definitely would have been uh, better according to me moving on to the safety features now this car comes with abs ebd uh, two airbags and the maruti suzuki vitara brezza by the way has scored a strong four star and cap uh, rating so this car is obviously a safe place to be in but side and curtain airbags is something the competitors are offering so definitely that is something which uh, we would have welcomed and that is something which we look forward to at least in the top end variants of the car the side curtain airbags should have been there so i think guys i have spoken much about the car uh, moving on to the verdict the one which i am driving right now is a top end manual uh, the price actual price is uh, 9.91 lakhs and meanwhile the top end variant of the maruti suzuki vitara brezza the zx i plus i don't really know about the dual tone variant but i'll tell you guys the pricing ex showroom price of the zx i plus the zx i plus costs around 9.86 lakhs which means that you are paying 5000 rupees extra for this particular car and in return you basically get a few things extra for example you have this dual tone treatment on this particular car which i have already shown you guys the warranty of this car is on the higher side you have 
थ्री इयर्स और वन लैख किलोमीटर्स ऑफ वारंटी विद दिस पर्टिकुलर पर्टिकुलर कार मीन वाइल द ब्रेजा ओनली ऑफर्स टू इयर्स और फोर्टी थाउजेंड किलोमीटर्स सो गाइज कमिंग ऑन टू द वर्ल्ड इट आई थिंक डेफिनेटली बाई पेइंग फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज एक्स्ट्रा यू आर गेटिंग गुड वारंटी एट द सेम टाइम द सर्विस क्वालिटी ऑफ टोटा इज डेफिनेटली बेटर so i definitely it makes a lot of sense if your budget is somewhere around 9 and a half 10 lakh rupees and if you are looking forward to buy a top model of a mini suv then i think this is the car to go with because it offers uh, all the features with the maruti suzuki brezza has at the same time you also get better service you basically have 3 years or 1 lakh kilometers to play around with so guys this is a quick drive impressions from my side i hope you guys liked it so if you have any question you can surely ask it to me on instagram as well as in the comment section uh, down below and by the way if you are interested in buying any car or bike or a used car you can surely uh, contact us you only need to basically send send us your contact number and your location and we'll tell you guys the on road price of a particular car or basically we can also help you out in buying a used car so guys i hope you guys like the video i'll see you guys very soon until then drive safe ride safe bye bye